Hello, welcome with a new tutorial. Um, this tutorial is about some Christmas lights because the holiday season is coming up and this is a very easy, small tutorial. Um, let me show you how it looks like when it's rendered. You see it's running very fast. And let's go to a new window and recreate this. Okay, the first thing we need is a spline, because we need a spline to um, arrange the lights on and to make the wire. And to do that, we just go to just a top through or a front through. I choose the top view. Choose the pen and Just draw some fun points. Maybe something like this. And you can tweak the points by choosing the cursor and Adjust it. Just changing this into a more rounded shape. Okay. And when we go into perspective, we see it's all flat. And this is just a little boring. To change that, we just pick some up some points, pull them up or just down ok, just one other one oh, I see this still has a hard one Change it to soft. Okay, maybe a little high. Um, it's this one. So it's got more dynamic in it. Okay, we cut our spline. Um, the next thing we want to make or create is the electric wire. And to do that, we need, uh, of course, a shape. Uh, for that we choose an end side or why we will not choose round because round has a lot of um, numbers and will create a lot of polygons and that won't be necessary so we just choose an end side to approve the speed of the rendering um, let's change the radius to 3 and sides to 12 zoom in a little bit you can see it's still round uh, at the moment now but it will actually really reduce the number of pelicans to do it like this and what we need next is a spline wrap okay And what we need is because we want um, the electric wire to be curled like this because they all just tangle around is you use a helix. Okay, we all got our components right now. Um, okay, pick a sweetener. Place the end side inside and then the helix. You will see now that the sweep has created a thin wire, but it's just a basic shape and it's curling, that's fine, but it has to follow the spline we draw. And for do that, we have to place the spline wrap inside the helix. And what the spline really wants to know is what do I have to follow? And that's of course the spline. So we have to put the spline inside 
this box. Okay, this is looking really weird, but don't worry, we have to change some settings. First we start with the helix, because the helix is way too big. And we change that to 5. And then the starting angle has to be 360. Um, of course, the end radius also has to be 5. And then the end angle, <coughs> what is doing that, that's the number of times it will be turned around the spline and it has to be a lot of um, turns so we use a really high number this has to be 50 um, that's okay 50 um, subdivision we need more subdivision so it will be less smoother and then we have to um, tell it which way it has to turn and we have to change that to the z y x and when you zoom in you can see that it's already turning around the actual spline we use as a base okay then we have to make a few decisions because um, what we can do is we in increase the number of angles so we'll have more turns but we can also decide to use two wires because a lot of Christmas lights have a two wire base system and to do that is just use control and drag and you have another spline like this and to keep it clear we call this wire one and this will be wire 2 okay of course you won't see the second wire now because it's identical to the first one and we need to, to tweak it a little bit and we can change the starting angle by 180 and then you see it starts turning on another point and that's why it's turning now around the other one if I change this number you can see it's starting to disappear so just keep it around 180 because it's exactly the half of 360 so they won't interfere with each other okay I got my two wires now okay um, but we can still change this. maybe we need some more twisting action and um, we can do that by going into the helix and increase this number but this will be the number of turns and don't forget to do it with the other wire as well okay yeah that's better okay this part is ready and of course now we need uh, the lights and we can also hide the original spline um, for the lights we first need 